Hey guys, it is me, Lanny here, and today guys, we're back with another Roblox Piggy video, and today, this is actually a pretty sad news, probably for lots of you Piggy fans, and also the quality might not be that good, because this is an older quality video, but anyways, Roblox Piggy. We all know, you know, I do like two videos a day, two videos a week on Piggy, talking about skin reviews, reviewing skins 1 to 10, reviewing maps, ranking them on a tier list, and all that stuff. I've been doing this while we've been waiting for the hiatus of Piggy for the brand new game to come out, you know? Getting the intro to the side, but yes, you know, Piggy, you know? The old Piggy Hunt. I mean, not Piggy Hunt, you know, just Piggy as itself. And also, yeah, if you see the cheeks and all the like, half designs, it's like I said, the older version, so good, so don't keep that in mind. But yes, Piggy, you know, I love the Piggy game. I really loved it when it first came out, but I started to love it more, and you guys really did love it, and I grew a lot more fan base, and Piggy helped me grow a lot more than what I really was in the beginning. In the beginning, I blew it from Guess What, and Piggy helped me grow that success. It does not mean I'm going to stop making Piggy videos. It just means that this is going to be the last until we get something new in Piggy, or something new in Intercity, or anything like that. Piggy Hunt, but I'm still going to be doing lots of Piggy toy reviews and stuff like that whenever a new one comes out. So do not think I'm going to stop Piggy. The minute something new comes out, new video, you know. Not gonna stop, but sadly, I'll be nothing else to really continue doing. This is gonna be the full piggy review. What I think about the game in its entirety, and we'll be ranking them. So, without further ado, let's go and hop into this video. So, guys, first of all, talking is about the story overall. The story is obviously really amazing. I love the whole entire story about the infectors. Yes, you might think it's been overdone with homeless uh, zombie stories and all that stuff. It's really been done. But this one obviously takes a little bit different, you know, taking picky characters. And really, the thing about it is, yes, it's an iconic zombie survival series, stuff like that. But the characters in it is what makes it special. And like Zizzy, Pony, Giraffe, uh, Mimi, I don't know if I'm pronouncing her name right, but all these characters also Mr. Peace starring it all to save his wife. It's having an origin story, all that stuff. I really do like it. I like the whole Bug 2 story a lot more too. Them actually finding the cure and gonna end it all. The whole town maps and surroundings is also really good. Bring out the next thing maps and surroundings. The maps look really good. There's over like 24 different maps. Yeah, the 20, like 24 plus exclusive. So, like 25, 26, 27, something like that. With all the exclusive maps for the holiday birds and stuff like that. So, yes, there's a lot of maps in there. Lots of different designs. And that's what I definitely do really like about it, too. It fits in. The graphics have been getting better and better every time a new book came in. And also, just like I said, the story, maps, all amazing. And the picky characters as it is. In the beginning, the designs were a little bit okay. But when the redesign happened, book two and all stuff, they've been introducing so many different animals and characters and you know it's so cool like Alphys also Mr. you know um, what's my Mr. El Tio I think his name yeah Tio you know him the entity I don't, I don't know what to call him actually you know that dude yeah he's an amazing skin and obviously amazing character showing how he is controlling the infected too look it's not just mindless zombies are getting controlled by him he doesn't want them to find a cure he's in your head that story it's easily amazing. We have to wait for Intercity to see the story actually continue, but so far, it's amazing. And the skins, like I said, these things are really amazing, too. With all the different chapters coming out, all the different skins, all the different things you can actually do to play, you know, in Piggy, there's a lot to do. You can play so many different maps with your friends, earn so many skins, earn different upgrades, attempt to do it, get the true ending in book one and two. It's just so much to do out of all the Piggy games, Intercity and Piggy Hunt. This is obviously the first and obviously the best out of all of them, and I don't think anything can beat it at all. Obviously, as you see here, uh, Chapter 2 really did change. Yeah, as you see here, the maps, everything changed from the beginning to the end. The animations, too. Have you seen those fight scenes? amazing character animation you know character development it's really amazing and if you know guys piggy has grown so much and i think we gotta definitely say that this piggy game 10 out of 10 one of the best games on roblox without a doubt you know i think it was even if they don't update in so long everyone will still be playing it because piggy you know just piggy now we have to wait in time to see how the story develops and everything else and how it goes on to different consoles and i hope it becomes like the next FNAF or popular playtime, I guess you could say. Well, not really the next popular playtime because, you know, controversy and all that stuff going on right now. So, you know, it's the next big game to stay the next big game, you know. And, yeah, hopefully you can move on off Roblox and go to all platforms, you know, mobile, everything like that. But anyways, guys, 
I think it's me for this video, guys. Tell me in the comments below what you think about Roblox Piggy. And how do you like Roblox Piggy as it is right now? What do you think they could do different? And it's not just a granny ripoff anymore. Not just a, a granny fan game anymore. It's more than that. If you do not know what I'm talking about, it's just a quick, just sort of granny. It's a mobile game that kind of, that's uh, so why he obviously got the inspiration of that. It's not just a Peppa Pig granny fan game anymore. It's more than that now. It's its own original identity, and it could definitely live on. Forever. And for me, I'll definitely always remember this. But anyways, guys, tell me guys comments below. Like I said, what you guys definitely do think about it. What's your favorite parts? And I'll see you guys all in the next video, guys. Goodbye.